Hello, hello dolls, it's Lynn Marie here, and today's tutorial is going to be a modern twist on a classic pinup. So, like I said, um, it's in honor of my new bangs. I've got um, a new look to my hair, and I really adore it. I love anything retro um, and vintage, so it was a really big treat for me to do this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the different modern twists that I put on it. So, And then also, I've included some really neat makeup tricks that can help give you more of a friendly and inviting appearance to some of the characteristics on your face. So enjoy guys, let me know what you think, and I'd love to read all of your comments. Thanks, bye. Okay, so I first started by applying my foundation and concealer and everything. And then when I did my eyebrows, um, normally I have more of an arc, but I tried to pencil them in with a rounder shape to them. Um, so I didn't put so much powder eyeshadow on top. I just tried to round it out a little bit more. Um, just because back then the pinups didn't have too much of that arc shape. Um, they had more friendlier faces and the rounded eyebrows give you that appearance. So first of all, I'm going to apply my highlight and I'm just using a really basic white eyeshadow. Um, this is really pigmented and I'm just picking up like a small shadow brush. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone. I'm starting right here where that curve is and just following it forward and then just blending it downwards. So what this white eyeshadow does also is it's going to bring out that round shape of your eyebrows. Okay, then the next thing that we're going to do is put a brown eyeshadow right in the crease. And what I'm using is just this kind of neutral palette that I picked up at like a dollar store. Um, so it's just got a bunch of different neutral browns in it. And I'm going to be using this one right here. It's the darker brown, but it's not necessarily um, a really dark color. It's more of a lighter medium brown color. So I'm going to tap some of that off and I'm taking a large fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease. And with the windshield wiper mode, I'm just going to kind of go back and forth. And we don't want this part to be too dark. Um, the basis of a pinup style makeup is light, um, just very light and friendly. And then, okay. So once I have that in my crease, then I'm going to go back to that white eyeshadow, picking up this same brush. And I'm going to go ahead and lay that down right on my lid. So the next step that we're going to do is taking a smaller smudge brush. I'm going to dip it back into that same brown color that I put on my crease. And I'm just going to kind of smudge that right on my lower lash line. Just all the way across. So we're not going to end up putting any mascara on the bottom lash line, but we do still want it to stand out a little bit. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go over that with a little bit of cream eyeliner. And I'm just taking uh, the brush that came with the cream liner, and it's very thin. I'm just going to take a little bit of that, and I'm going to go right over that brown and right along my waterline, just on the very outside. So we're not lining the waterline, we're just lining right there on the lash line. And just kind of, not too dark, you just kind of want to blend it a little bit. But we just want to be able to see the definition of the bottom lash line without actually putting mascara on that. So now we're going to line our top lash line and normally I start at the very tip and then I go over and outwards, but this time I'm going to start on the outer part. And at the very base of the lash line, I'm just going to kind of follow it through. And with cream liner, you want to make sure you go just a little at a time, that way you make sure you get a steady line. 
Now once I get to about right here where the middle of my eyelashes are, I'm not going to pick up any more cream liner. I just kind of want to use whatever's left on my brush and just kind of bring it forward a little bit. Right, not even all the way in, just right here to where your eyelashes barely start. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want it to be so heavy with the eyeliner all the way through. You kind of want to give it that gradient to where it fades down into your lashes going forward. You want the main focus of the eyeliner to be on the very end. So next, um, on this side, I just did a small wing out. So I'm just going to flick it out just a little and then follow it in. So now that my eyeliner is perfect and it's got the little wing and fades inwards, we're going to use our eyelash curlers. And you just want to get a quick curl just to bring up your lashes if they've fallen downwards into their normal setting. Okay, just spread them out a little bit and then I'm going to be using my waterproof mascara. I always use waterproof, like no matter what. Only because it really just holds the shape of my eyelashes and it just never comes off. It's really good. So like I said, we want the focus to be on the top of the eyes. We're not putting any mascara on the bottom. So that's it for eyes. Next I'm going to use um, a stippling brush and I'm going to take some really hot pink blush. You just kind of want to go right over the cheeks of your, the apples of your cheeks. In a circling motion. Just to kind of buff it in. On a really rosy look today. And the last part to complete the look is my absolute favorite part. This is my favorite lipstick. Um, and it is a Nicole Miller color. And it's this one. It's really hot pink lipstick. Now, the reason why I'm using hot pink versus red, which is a normal pin-up color that you would want to use, I picked this one because I want to do kind of a modern-day pin-up look. So I still want everything to be soft, but you want the lips to stick out. And I decided to do a hot pink because I could use any other color. I could even do a nude lip, and it would still look really pretty. But the red is kind of just the key focus of the old classic pinups and that's what draws your attention to them so I want something that's still going to be very feminine but really just like bold and out there and this color is definitely it so grab any hot pink lipstick that you can find and you're just going to give one really good coat on top and bottom Okay, so now that you've got your lipstick on, like I said also, the rounded edges, um, the features on your face that are rounded, they typically come off to be more friendly and more inviting. So if you have normal lips that have um, more of a sharper Cupid's bow, you can also just use your lipstick to kind of round out the top of your lips to make it more of a heart shape. And then even, you know, then you can even add some concealer right on top just to conceal the very, you know, if you do have more of a sharp cupid's bow for the top of your lip. That way you can just get a nice little rounded heart shape and it just adds, you know, that extra little pep to your face. It makes it really friendly. And so that's the look and I hope you guys enjoyed this modern day twist on a classic retro pinup style. Um, I hope that you guys can try this out on your own. I really think it looks beautiful on everybody so if you want you can also make a video response to this and show me how I came out with you or if you want to do a different lipstick and just however you want to switch it up and make it your own so thank you guys for watching god bless and I'll talk to you later bye